Tonight, we're watching the latest developments in the race to replace Utah's junior senator. This comes after Romney announced just yesterday he won't be seeking re-election in 2024. Earlier today, 2 News confirmed that Utah Governor Spencer Cox will not be running for Romney's Senate seat, but political experts say there will likely be a long line of other Republicans getting their foot into the race. Our Daniel Woodward joining us live with what we can expect. Daniel? Well, Mark and Heidi, a Senate seat in a red state like Utah is very tempting to a lot of Republicans, but standing out among the big crowd will be a challenge. As Utah gets ready to elect a new senator, one big question, what type of person will replace Mitt Romney, who announced this week he's not running for re-election? What does it take for a candidate to stand out and win a race like this? Yeah. This is an open seat, which we don't see very often. We will see a very crowded field. Morgan lyon Cotty is associate director of the Hinckley Institute of Politics. Traditionally, when it comes to primaries, you often think about the person with the most name ID. And especially with Republican primaries, you think about the most conservative person. But in Utah, that hasn't been the case in some of our more recent primaries. Celeste Malloy just won the Republican primary in the second congressional district special election, but with less name ID and less money than some of her rivals. Lion Cotty, though, says that's not necessarily a map for what's ahead. This is a very different playbook than a special election. I think it's a wide open field. Former Governor Gary Herbert has run his share of statewide races, which he says can be harder. Mainly because it's bigger. You, you've got uh, 29 counties you've got to cover. Ultimately, Herbert says there's not one way to do it. If I wrote a book, it'd be Gary Herbert, Improbable Journey. There was not really a plan that I had. The things just kind of fell into place. Serendipity took over, and next thing you know, I'm the governor. So we will certainly see candidates entering the race over the next few weeks and months. Any candidate who wants to actually run will need to file officially for that. The filing period is the beginning of next year, January 2nd through the 8th. Reporting live, Daniel Woodruff, KUTV 2 News.